स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट कंस्ट्रक्ट एंड टेस्ट ब्रिज रेक्टिफायर यूजिंग सेमी कंडक्टर डायोड एंड रेक्टिफायर आई सी एंड कंपेयर द वे फॉर्म यूजिंग सी आर ओ सो हियर फॉर दैट वी रिक्वायर फोर डायोड्स डी वन डी टू डी थ्री एंड डी फोर एंड वन लोड रजिस्टर वन द ट्रांसफॉर्मर स्टेप डाउन ट्रांसफॉर्मर वी रिक्वायर एंड कनेक्टिंग वायर्स एंड ब्रेड बोर्ड सो अकॉर्डिंगली सो फोर डायोड्स वी हैव कनेक्टेड as per the circuit diagram so with the help of the circuit diagram above and how i connected over here i will explain so this is d1 so this is d1 okay so next d2 this is d2 diode d2 this is d3 diode d3 and this is d4 this is d4 d1 d2 d3 and d4 so for d1 and d2 Uh, negative terminal the diodes negative terminal is connected so i have connected uh, here the negative terminal of uh, d1 and d2 next d3 and d4 positive terminal so over here d3 and d4 positive terminal i have connected over here and rest of the two terminals that is d2 na uh, d4 negative d1 positive here d4 negative d1 positive and d3 negative d2 positive so in such a way that the bridge has been formed so at this side the resistor load rl and that has to be connected again to this so already i have connected like this you can see over here so this negative negative terminal so negative negative one line i have given so the resistor one leg i have connected and the other one these two i have connected the resistor another end so here i will connect so that you can clearly see the four diodes plus the load resistor has been connected yes according to the circuit diagram transformer is also needed so here i use 606 transformer yes already you know there are two windings in the transformer this is the primary winding that has to be connected to 230 volts okay i have connected over there so 230 volts i have connected to the switch board so i have on the switch board so that in the secondary i will get the voltage accordingly it is uh, written as 606 so center tap transformer i have used so i will use only 6 and 6 okay so this is a step down transformer and the secondary winding i will going to connect one to the positive line in the breadboard and another in the other side of the breadboard so according to the circuit diagram so the secondary winding of the transformer has to be connected to where d4 negative d1 positive so i will connect now so one wire connected to this side and the another one over here so it is according to the circuit diagram so we are connected this next is secondary of the transformer so one wire has to be connected d3 negative d2 positive so one to the breadboard one wire and another wire over here so that this is been completed this circuit has been completed and already i have connected load resistor so already i have connected the resistor so what i will do is take two wires so that to show to this side i have to take two wires so here positive i will take red wire so one end over here i will connect one wire red wire and another this one black wire i will going to connect to the this end
ओके सो वी हैव गॉट टू वायर्स वन पॉजिटिव वायर एंड वन नेगेटिव वायर एंड टू द सी आर ओ आई एम गोइंग टू कनेक्ट दिस इज द सी आर ओ एंड दिस इज चैनल वन आई एम यूजिंग सो फॉर दैट देर इज अ प्रोब इन द सी आर ओ दिस इज रेड पॉजिटिव ब्लैक नेगेटिव सो द वायर्स पॉजिटिव टू पॉजिटिव आई विल गिव एंड नेगेटिव टू नेगेटिव आई विल गिव so that you can see in the cro so it is a rectified that is pulsating dc i am getting let us measure the frequency over here so from this peak to this peak in cro there are two so i have to take two so one and two so this peak to this peak so in the time division i have got Five, so five. I will. I have got. So here I will clearly write two into five millisecond. That is equal to ten millisecond. I have got. So if I, so if I want to calculate the frequency, F is equal to one upon time division. So one divided by t is ten millisecond. So the frequency is hundred hertz. Yes, students. Output uh, already we are measured the frequency. We got it as hundred hertz. So let us uh, study the input frequency. So in the CRO I will show you secondary winding of the transformer. So I will connect six and six over here. So I should get AC in the CRO. so that i have get getting the ac so see here while we are calculating this is peak and this is another peak in between 1 2 3 4 lines are there so i have to think it as 4 into time division is 5 so here 5 is there so that i will going to write 4 into 5 is equal to 20 millisecond t t this is the time so if i want to calculate the frequency again apply the formula f is equal to 1 upon t so 1 divided by 20 millisecond that is equal to 50 so f is equal to 50 hertz so input i am getting 50 hertz output it's double it is 100 hertz according to the tabular column of this one this is input ac voltage v in in volts so the secondary voltage of the transformer has to be measured over here and the output ac voltage uh, vrms in volts that means we have to take across the resistor so we have to keep the meter again in ac so here here the meter ac across the resistor i have to take the third one is output dc voltage vdc in volts again across the resistor we have to keep the multimeter in dc range and we should measure the readings so that i will going to show and i will write in this tabular column and the ripple factor is calculated in such a way that the ripple factor r is equal to vrms by vdc so this is vrms and this is vdc practically Well, uh, theoretically, we should get 0.48. Uh, let us see how the practically we will get the readings. So, according to the uh, tabular column, input AC voltage V in in volts. So that has to be measured in the secondary winding of the transformer. Six and six, I have to take, and I have to take one meter, and that meter has to be kept for AC. This is the symbol of AC voltage. so ac voltage we have to keep and same i will going to measure over here it has got no polarity so the readings that is coming as 13.0 13 so exactly 13 i am getting so that i will going to write over here as 13 volts it is ac voltage yes across load resistor we have to find the rms value output ac voltage vrms in volts so for that one i have to keep the meter again in ac voltage mode 
सो लेट अस मेजर द वोल्टेज सो पॉजिटिव टू पॉजिटिव एंड नेगेटिव टू नेगेटिव सो द रीडिंग आई एम गेटिंग इज 6.13 6.13 पॉइंट वन थ्री ओल्ड्स सो आई विल गोइंग टू राइट हियर सिक्स पॉइंट वन थ्री ओल्ड्स नेक्स्ट आई हैव टू कैलकुलेट आउटपुट डी सी वोल्टेज वी डी सी इन ओल्ड्स फॉर दैट वन आई हैव टू कीप द मीटर इन डी सी मोड सो दिस इज सिंबल ऑफ डी सी अगेन वोल्टेज डी सी वोल्टेज सो अगेन आई हैव टू मेजर positive to positive across load. across load resistor negative to negative so the reading i have getting is 11.46 so that i will going to write over here 11.46 next i have to calculate the ripple factor r is equal to vrms by vdc so our vrms is 6.13 पॉइंट वन थ्री ओल्ड्स एंड वी डी सी इज लेवन पॉइंट फोर सिक्स ओल्ड्स सो द रिपल फैक्टर वी आर एम एस बाई वी डी सी बाई कैलकुलेटिंग इट वी आर गेटिंग पॉइंट फाइव जीरो दैट इज पॉइंट फाइव जीरो सो एक्चुअली इट शुड बी पॉइंट फोर एट इट इज नियरिंग टू पॉइंट फोर एट दैट इज वी आर गेटिंग पॉइंट फाइव